Hi, my name is Justin Rathbone and this is the how to make a video video. This video will be made up of six different segments, each segment giving you more information on how to improve your videos. So part one is the equipment. Uh, I've got a lot of tools that I use to make my videos, tripods, microphones, and cameras. The most important one by far being the camera. You can make great videos just using a camera and no other tools. I wouldn't recommend using a DSLR like I have. I would recommend starting off with a smartphone or a small camera if you know you're interested. Uh, and if you don't know if you're interested or not in filmmaking or videography, then I'd start off with a smartphone. Most smartphone cameras are more capable than we think they are. And here are just a couple examples of some footage actually shot on smartphones. Part two is interviewing. Depending on the type of video that you will be making, uh, whether it be documentary, informative, or any other, there's lots of types of videos. You, the odds are you might have to do an interview. And interviews really help convey the subject's ideas and topics to the audience. One key thing to remember when doing interviews is to make sure you frame your subject inside of the frame. If you have the head, if you, their head is cut off or maybe they're a little bit to the side, then it won't look as professional. Here's an example of bad framing. We can see the camera seems to be pointing upward and there's quite a lot of background uh, distractions. Now here's an example of a good interview. Um, we can see the subject is right in the center of the screen and their background is completely blank, which means the viewer's attention is solely on the subject itself or himself. Part three for this video is about B-roll. B-roll is used to overlay what the subject is saying in an interview or maybe just what they're saying in general. A great example of B-roll that we see very common is the news. The news, they'll cover a story and then when they're talking about the story, you'll see footage of say a car accident. You'll see pictures or video of the car accident. This helps the audience better visualize what is actually going on. B-roll can also be used to transition from topic to topic or possibly to change the mood of a video. Maybe it's going to be more inspiring or maybe it's going to get more sad. Part four is music and audio, and this is, in my opinion, the most underrated part of videography. You can have the best, most beautiful shots in the world, but if you do not line up your shots with the song or your audio, then the quality will be downgraded significantly. The first thing I do when I start off a video is I find a song because you can change up the video however you want in the post-production, but once you have a song, it's very, very difficult to change it. A tip for improving your audio is to buy a microphone. Now I've got this like $7 microphone I bought off of Amazon to do interviews and it's kind of already broken already. Now the difference between the microphone on the camera and this is pretty significant even for a cheap microphone like the one I have. And here's an example of the difference between audio from just a standard camera and from audio from my microphone. Wait, uh, every single time, you know, you're never gonna, you're never gonna beat it. There's always more weight. That um, as a person, I think it's developed a work ethic, a good work ethic for me, because uh, with sports, you know, I want to be successful. Part five is about editing. Now, some people really, really despise video editing, but for me, it's always been my favorite part of making videos. I would recommend starting off just like I did with a basic video editing software like Windows Movie Maker or iMovie. This helps you learn the simple things first, and then once you feel comfortable, you can probably get a more complicated video editing software like Sony Vegas and Final Cut Pro. The best way to learn how to edit video is to just play around with it, learn how to split clips, lower the volume, or maybe even add, an, add in an effect. And if you're struggling with any part of the video editing process, be sure to Google it because there's a lot of resources out there that can help you and there's plenty of resources out there that have helped me make my videos a lot better. 
So once you've got your video done, it's time to upload it to YouTube. Now for your first video, don't be upset if your video gets seven views in a month and you refresh the page to get more views because in the beginning, not, not many people might watch your videos. And after a while, if your videos are good enough, then your friend will tell a friend will tell his friend and you'll start to gain more viewers and which would ultimately help your videos. Done.